Good day and welcome to the repair shop. I'm Dave and this is my currently dead P3180 hybrid forced air propane heater. So I was using it the other day, popped a new battery and pressed start, heard a noise from inside and looks like this chip has blown up blew a pin right off it. So a little closer examination of the board and with some really good help from the gardener parts lady who will just say is, uh, we'll call her Miss Convention. She uh, helped me with some of the numbers on the board. So I'll be able to show you maybe in another shot, but in the board, it has a bunch of information as to maybe a part number and there's an R860424 number. So we looked it up, we find that this is the same board used in the 12 and 18 volt versions of the propane heater and the um, rigid propane heater. So the way it's designed is everything is plugged into a harness and you need this board to make it all work. So anyway, chip is blown apart and you really can't see what it is and I can't work on something that small anyway. So let's take uh, a look at the inputs here. So we have, it works from a AC adapter or from the battery. So the AC adapter goes right to these 12 volt 12 volt points on the board and the battery comes here too well when I hook up power to to this the machine lights up so it's not completely dead it's this is probably what's called a buck converter power supply so off to our local electronics store and I'm going to replace oh sorry so we're going to replace this part of the board with a beefier version of the circuit. Most of these buck converters are based on this uh, LM2596 chip. So we're not actually going to touch this board. We're just going to change the uh, sourcing of the power here and put it all back together. So if you take a look at how it's built, everything is really well made. Everything connects quite nicely to this board but um, it is not available as a part. It's only available as this entire unit as a warranty part. And um, so I either um, leave it at the curb or let's try this repair. So it's back together. This is the mechanical part, all torque screwed in there with the 15 torques. And here is the buck supply. And the first thing we need to do is just to make sure that uh, not only works, but of course, that it's the 12 volts that we want. So, oh, that little light's going on in it. Always a good sign. So here we are at 11.1 volts. We need it a little higher than that. So. You can see on the meter there, So I'm just going to go slightly past just for line loss to the next board. Okay, so there the replacement power supply is soldered in and calibrated. Because I'm not sure what killed the original power supply, I've put in a thousand volt reverse voltage diode on the output of the little buck converter. And then we'll take that and we're going to put this right to the where the uh, AC adapter powers up to here. So 
So we finish off with tucking in the buck power supply into that little spot. Doesn't really need to be physically mounted. These cables are all pretty heavy. It's got nowhere to go. <clears throat> so in theory, this should work. So we'll power it up and see what happens. Well, our little power supply at least is happy that it's getting power. And let's just press the, uh, press the start button. Success. We've hooked the camp stove attachment up instead of using the little green bottles. And go out to the shed where there's some propane. So nothing beats actually trying it. So we know it sparks from power, but uh, does it actually light? So one of the things we learned was all of these products seem to run off a very similar little circuit board. And uh, it looks like it's an Amtel Tiny88 processor. So in this case, the microprocessor that actually runs this tool works. We'll hook it up to the tank with our camp stove accessory. Now, one of the things we learned is that on the original circuit board and on this one, the little power supply is hooked up all the time, so maybe it's not a good idea to leave a, a battery hooked up to this all the time. So, propane is on, and it's you press this button to start it and then to hold. So, good news. Ignition, Houston, we have ignition. One thing we did learn is that the AC adapter is 100 volt to 240 volt, 50 to 60 cycle of means it's a world adapter. Although on the uh, tool they only claim 120 volt operation, so that's kind of neat. And the uh, entire thing can be disassembled with a number 15 4 inch torque screwdriver, which is also pretty cool. I hope you're able to repair yours. Found this informative.